After the stunning and awe-inspiring Rogue One trailer was released, fans went rampant crafting new and interesting theories for the upcoming anthology film. One scene in particular seemed to garner a lot of attention due to some familiar and important figures in the background and the presence of what many have theorized to be a back-to-tank similar to the one Luke was submerged in in Empire Strikes Back. A popular theory that stemmed from the shot in the trailer was that the mysterious and powerful Supreme Leader of the First Order was the one in the tank, with even myself making a video attempting to place the pieces of the puzzle together to attempt to deduce if it really could have been Snoke. But alas, recently Pablo Hidalgo answered the question. The direct quote from the creative executive in story development for Lucasfilm said this, Snoke is not in Rogue One, like in any way, shape, or form. This is a standalone movie. So there is the answer delivered outright. Snoke will not make any appearance in Rogue One, and he states that this movie is following what we already expected from the anthology films, that they would separate themselves from the standard universe and be single, more contained stories taking place in a large universe rather than one of the main driving forces forces for the universe as a whole. Overall, I don't see this as a good or bad thing. It definitely would have been exciting to receive more information on Snoke and learn a little more, but just because this isn't present doesn't mean it serves as a detriment to the film as a whole. So after this pretty big reveal, the question still remains, however, who is in the back to tank, if it really is one, and who is the person that appears to be kneeling or possibly stepping down some steps, as others have suggested? Of course, this reveal doesn't change the shot or the circumstances surrounding the shot, with the royal guards in the background, whose job it is specifically to guard the emperor at all costs and remain by his side. I am honestly going to say, I still don't think it is Vader, because he has not been seen using a hood in any depiction that I am aware of, and the stature seems off to me as well. The most likely option at this point for me is one of two things. This hooded figure is either the Emperor himself in the presence of his royal guards or a new character draped in a black robe entirely. If it is a new character, the biggest question then will be are they a force user? I have heard that the person could be Mads Mikkelsen's character who is now confirmed to be the father of Jyn Ursa, Felicity Jones character, and is still rumored to be the mastermind behind the Death Star. It is possible that he could potentially be a force sensitive, although currently, besides his rumored name, Galen, in recent and info, we don't know much about the character. Some have also suggested it could be one of the few remaining Inquisitors, but Dave Filoni recently came out and said that they were going to be beginning to integrate the Inquisitors out of Rebels due to them not being in A New Hope, and since Rogue One takes place very close to A New Hope, it may take away some validity that it is indeed an Inquisitor. Another one I've heard suggested is that the person in the tank could be a recuperating Emperor, who frequently uses a highly advanced version of the tank to help sustain his physical body. This could potentially explain why the Royal Guard seem to be present before the Black Hood figure kneels or proceeds with what exactly they're doing in the scene, but it is still possible they came in advance and the hooded figure is still the Emperor. The question also still remains whether it is even a back to tank at all, but even if it isn't, the mystery of the hooded figure still continues. This question for me currently is the biggest and most pressing. Of course the presence of the Imperial Royal Guards is the most intriguing thing witnessed and signifies the presence of individuals of extreme importance. So tell me what you think. Is the thing in the trailer a back to tank? And if so, who could be placed in it? Is it the Emperor, Vader, or someone else? Also, who do you think the hooded figure is? Now that we have one candidate removed, who do you think it could be? How do you feel that Snoke will not be in Rogue One? Thanks as always so much for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with everything Rogue One and Star Wars overall. May the Force be with you, and have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter for updates on the channel. We also have a Patreon if you'd like to help contribute to the channel and gain access to some special features. Click the annotations on screen to watch my previous video or a mystery video. Links for all are in the description down below. May the force be with you and have a great day.